Bank customers are teaming up with fraudsters to swindle cash from financial institutions in one of the latest money laundering schemes known as the Lotus Scam. But for these customers, it's not crime that's going to pay, but them. In this latest Deloda scam, fraudsters are asking for online banking information, promising to provide the colluding customers with extorted cash. However, as manager for special investigations in the Fraud Prevention Unit at NCB, Dane Nicholson explains, the fraudsters are really accessing digital loans at that institution on behalf of victims, taking a cut of the funds, then leaving the victim to deal with the consequences. The loan facilities range from between 100 to 300,000 maximum. It's called a fast cash loan. So based on your history, once you log in to internet banking and you go to the fast cash facility and click apply or in some instance we will send the customers a code to tell them that they are qualified for this loan and they should log in with their credential in order to execute on the facility and have the cash credited to your account. Our investigative team sought to uncover the ins and outs of the scheme after observing several pages on Instagram and TikTok claiming to be able to load accounts with money from National Commercial Bank NCB and Scotiabank. The next voice you will hear is that of an individual who allegedly received cheated funds, giving a testimonial of his experience. His voice has been distorted for security purposes. I see this loading thing I got around. I'm going to let me try it. See there? 100,000 load I sent to my account. 10k, him tell me if he send him and he put 100,000 on the account. And him really do it people. So right now, we have to send him back. Team percentage to him forget. Our team had a discussion with one of the pages and was told that our online information would first have to be given for checks to be done on the account's history before a further explanation of the process could be shared. This was in line with Mr. Nicholson's explanation that for the activity to work, certain information including token codes or other demographic information would first have to be handed over to the fraudsters. One single mother living in the southeast end of the island, who we will refer to as Ramona, says it was the same for her. She's among many who had indicated interest in the scheme out of curiosity and a need for fast cash. Ramona was approached by two loader pages with two different strategies. The first one had said to me, I have to put up 10 grand first before I can be able to have my account loaded. So I said, I'm a single mom, I have no way of getting it. Well, you can't just expect people to load your account. They have to give up something first, basically that's what that person was saying. The second loader who contacted her waived that first requirement, but she would later realize there was more that she would have to do before the process could start. The second one has said to me, I don't have to give up anything, but all I have to do is online banking. No, the person said to me, give me your username and password. So I asked, why do you need my username and password? So that they can assure that my account doesn't freeze up. And they said, look here, whoever you are, as much as there's nothing in my account, I'm not going to give my username and password to anybody like that. That was the end of the conversation. Meanwhile, Mr. Nicholson says several NCB customers have since confessed to the bank and the police about their collaboration with the fraudsters, after later finding out they were left with debt at the bank. He says the bank is now in discussions about how it will continue relations with those disingenuous customers. One of the upfront consequences, the loans or the so-called funds that are loaded to the account. The customers are left with the bag in terms of repaying those loans or the threat of their credit going bad and then they will have great difficulty in the future with obtaining any credit facilities from either NCB or any other financial institution. Manager for Special Investigations in the Fraud Prevention Unit at NCB B. Dane Nicholson. According to head of the Crime Investigations Branch at CTOC and the Jamaica Constabulary Force, Senior Superintendent of Police Anthony McLaughlin, customers renting their accounts to these fraudsters also stand to be prosecuted for conspiracy to defraud the bank. So we are encouraging persons not to give access to your banking information to anyone because if these scams are investigated, then the holders of these accounts are the first person who are going to be arrested and charged. This was an investigative look into the Lotus scam. Experts warn that the country's digital push may give rise to more social engineering techniques, so take the time to invest in your electronic security and be wise online.